Okay. So let's ponder some gaming philosophy and perhaps some life philosophy. Right now, Rockstar, in their generosity, has extended a double money and double RP for special stunt races like this one to the 29th of March. Which means what I can do is play them solo. Make sure that every race is at least four minutes. I'll get $10,000. If I go for eight minutes, I can get 16000 Six minutes is 13000 And you, know, you can do all kinds of graphs as to what's making the most money. I think for if you're going to be actively playing, then, you know, you do the four minute one. If you want to, you know, do a race, then let it sit for five minutes or ten minutes or whatever while you go grab a sandwich or something. And, you know, the, the more money from the other times works out well. And they've given some people, and I'm one of them, some special bonuses for the same time period. In my case, it is 25% uh, off the office garages. I already have an office. It's 50% off the office. And if you can get, like, I forget, 25 or 50 percent off the Torno, the car I've always wanted to pick up, but it's never been a real priority. It's, it's a nice car. And so now what am I doing? I'm at, I've got myself back up to around 750000 which is enough to get one of the garages, but you want to get both. I can get myself to 1.2 million doing this pretty handily. I mean, that's not going to be too bad. It's a little bit of grinding. And you might say, well, gee, why don't you make more money racing? If you just win races against people, you make more money than that in less time. And that is true. But in the aggregate, on average, for every race I win, or come in second or third, where you're in decent money, there's going to be five races where someone, you know, just toughs me off the cliff at the beginning of the race, and then I have to try to pull from behind and get into fifth. And you're not making as much money. In this. Doing this, I, I'm pretty much guaranteed. Uh, let's do the math here. How much? I know if I do, if I do ten races at sixteen thousand, oh, it's a hundred and sixty thousand. Four minute range. It's a hundred thousand. That's only forty minutes. There's a lot of money to be made here. Try to do math while driving. Really good. Let's see, land this. But the point of the matter is, is that what we have here is a condition where I am now grinding. And as far as gaming is concerned, um, I actually probably would like to be playing a different game. I plan on getting back into Star Citizen and getting back into Freelance. I really had planned on doing more space themed and all this stuff. Only now Rockstar does what they always do. They give you some special sales, give you some opportunity to make some more money. They just did a thing where they gave you bonuses on chart cards. Not doing that. But they do they keep doing this thing with bonus and bonuses and bonus that limited time offer and it's the same classic play that marketing makes all over the world. And you know, but this is a very very obvious point where I can see I am falling for it. I'm letting them control my life. I'm giving up at least an hour today. And probably an hour tomorrow. Distributed throughout the day. If I want to, I can do five hours of this. I mean, you know, you can... You can sit here until your butt goes numb. And so you start to wonder, is this a video game addiction? Or is it just good marketing? Is, you know, what should I be doing here? 
And I bring this up, not because it's like a special thing going on right now. They do this all the time. And, you know, I think you have to recognize when this has, has got you hooked. I mean, I'm looking at, like, I can get two garages for about 1.1 million. That's a significant savings over what they normally are. And then I pretty much have all the garages I could possibly get in the game. And it's like, well, that's a very tempting thing. And uh, let's see. By the way, if you want to change your, uh, if you want to change the uh, the parachute on these, just switch to the stock, uh, you know, the not your car. There, it'll let you change the parachute color. I like blue. Blue goes good with the the uh, the mobile. And then you change it back. You don't have to click that. That's what's a mistake. Change it back. You confirm that. And it will get the, the new color uh, parachute. Uh, just to see. Or actually, you can get the rainbow parachute as you fall on everything on the races. But. So, I'm, I'm wondering, do you guys find yourself sucked in on this? Do you find it like do they get you? They get you playing when you probably wouldn't have been playing? Simply because it's such a good deal. I'm going to take some video game time anyway for myself. I might as well be getting the things I want. I mean, it's like, I'm actually not playing the game I want to play. And this is somewhat fun in solo with these things, but I mean, it's, it's only somewhat fun. It is actually more fun to have bizarre things happen and then lose. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure I will be doing more racing. Actually racing people. During this bonus period, but I want to make sure I get enough of money in the process. Game even halfway tempted to spend money on shark cards. Every time I think about buying a shark card, I think, what if, like, next year they decide to say, hey, we're going to. Here's Grand Theft Auto 6, and then all the money I spent, I had. This became like a $300 game or something like that because of all the money I spent on it. I don't know, I mean, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think, is it a matter of if I get myself set up, will things change? Oh, wait. Let's see, yeah, heck with that, I've already got my garage. I really do have pretty much all the vehicles I need. Not mean that as a deep emotional need thing. I mean, as far as, as, far as being a racer, I've got I've got a, a piss washer and mustache I just picked up for free in some of the previous videos. Which is still not set up. There we go. Okay. But I mean it's there. And I'm still probably gonna race uh, my uh, turbo uh, turbo saver, my custom turbo saver, but it does have hand it doesn't have the top speed. One well, of the things that makes the hot rod race car Mustang so hard to drive. But I've got I've got my RE7B for you know the, from just about every track really. I've got a Banshee 900R in case I get a track with really long straights that I want to try to put that on. I just got the Dukes. Is another competitive muscle car. Got my LG, which the LG is my go-to no matter what's going on as far as sports car races. If there's a race that comes up, I've got a car for it. I've even got this custom rumor. Would I like a technical aqua just because it's a top gear car? Yeah. Same with the blazer. Up. But do I need them for anything? If I, need a, if I need a pickup with uh, with a gun on the back, I got the insurgent pickup. There's just not that much stuff to shoot on the water, you know? And it's more heavily armored. That was just to kill my momentum so I could ride out the four minutes. So here you are. Here I am. I'm sitting here waiting 30 seconds while the sun goes down just to make sure I get my 10 grand to get myself a garage. And I have to admit that there are controlling my mind. Rockstar owns me. And at some point, 
I think we're gonna have to take a look at this and take a break. I have to at least recognize it. I have to recognize that I'm doing this because, you know, otherwise you could just end up saying, spending your entire life playing games you don't want to play. Because you can get something in a poor game that you might not want to play. Like, how do I get all these garages set up? That's the ironic part. You get your garages set up, you get all of your cars arranged the way you want them, and now it's your happy place, and your mind can go there if it really wants to, and then you stop playing the game. It's a weird thing, because in your head, everything's, you got set up. Now you can, if you, oh, if I ever want to go to the game, then I can go to that game. It's all, it's all ready for me. And uh, I wonder if anyone else experiences that. Am I, you know, do you play a game to the point of exhaustion? This is a whole, actually, that's an interesting thing, because the same thing has actually pretty much happened to me with Fallout 4. If you look back at my videos, think about it. What did I do? I, I played it to the point where I got the castle and the slug, which are my two main settlements, to the point where they're pretty much perfect. I don't have to do anything with them. And I went through, and I really didn't even want to, but I, I felt like I had to go through and finally beat the game. Which was essentially, you know, a way of getting the last piece in place uh, in the castle, which is, of course, your your synth version of your son. That's he's there. He just gives you stuff, and uh, you know, that's um, that's what, what went on. I, I I played it well after what I wanted to play. I was I was exhausted with Fallout Four. Hopefully, that doesn't come across too much in the in the videos. But I played that game till I didn't want to play it anymore, and well past when I didn't want to play it anymore, so that I could get it set up, so that, basically, I had things the way I wanted them. I treated it almost like a task. I have to get this set up, I have to get that set up, you know, it, it becomes work. And I wonder, what, the, what does that mean? I mean, is, it, is that normal game thing? Is it normal just to want to uh, mess up my turbo jump there? Turbo launch. What I do is I, I tap really fast. You see, you do this a lot, and then you you have the RPMs up. This isn't going well. Okay. You have the RPMs up when you get the turbo boost, so you get more of the boost. I think, I think Rafi mentioned that somewhere along the way. I started doing it simply because I, I couldn't. Well, this isn't good. Missed it all together. No bonus points. I think Bruffy mentioned it at some point, but that, that's a side note. Maybe that's just a matter of my playing style. I just I want to get a world, a home base, a location set up for myself so that if I want to do anything, if I want to sit down at the game and say, hey, I want this car, hey, I want to go do this, I have it all there. So I, I, I push on the game till I get... Is that the normal way we play these things? And... Is it particularly dangerous when you have a game with microtransaction? Because what you can end up saying in this land <laughs> That was fun. Is that how they're grinding the bread now? Is it because it would be so much easier for me to say, you know, if I spend a hundred dollars. I could get a yacht in all the garages I want. They don't have a yacht yet. Which I don't really care if I get a yacht. Thank God. But it's just... And you can say to yourself, well, my time is worth more than a hundred dollars. It's going to take me six months of grinding on this game every day an hour. Well, then, obviously, my time is worth more than a hundred dollars. Maybe I should just give them a hundred dollars and get all the money I do. Wait till there's a sale, of course, but still... Then I'll have like, you know, eight or twelve million dollars or something like that. Get whatever you want, then you're set, your game is set up, you don't have to play it anymore. And if we have a game that we don't have to play anymore, and that's the goal, then why are we playing the game? I mean that's you know there's a certain amount of I I'm sure that there's some of this philosophy is in the Stanley Parable, if you've ever played that game. To give you an idea, right now I'm I'm playing the Stanley Parable from the standpoint that there's an achievement that you don't play the game for five years. I 
think I'm two or three years into that. Maybe a little longer. So I'm act actively trying to get an achieve a, a legitimate, not changing the class or anything like that. I don't even know if that works. So I'm trying to get a Stanley Parable achievement as we speak right now. Someday there'll be a video of that. Well, I, it's an interest. This is something that's just occurring to me. It's like, how many games do I play to get to a point where I'm happy with the conditions I have in game, where I build myself a world that I'm happy with, and you play and you play and you play and you play, and then you get to that point. It's like, okay, everything is now perfect. Wouldn't that then be the game you want to play all the time? No, and then it's not. Yeah, so now you're, you've pushed yourself to get to this point. And now it's not the game you're playing. Now you're playing a different game, which is not perfect. Because you're trying to set yourself up a place to be in that game. You know, whether it's a player home or a... I said this game, you know, we've got all kinds of apartments and garages. And garages are really the thing. You get, what cars do you want to get? There are a whole bunch of cars I want to get in this game, but they're not emergencies. Like, I'd like a T20, not because I drive a T20, although it's an excellent car. In any given day, it's competitive, but I want to put a T20 into the garage that I've set aside for Top Gear and Grand Tour garages. Uh, uh, it'll be purple and black, or purple, purple over black, or whatever color that was that they did in the Grand Tour. And come here, I think we're probably the same car. Because how many people are willing to let get thrash their, you know, their P1s around? Well, I digress. The point is, is that it's an interesting thing. Why do we play games? What pushes us to play games? At what point are you actually doing stuff you don't want to do just so you can achieve? You know, how many people have spent hours upon hours in World of Warcraft and smacking small things that you get? experience points to do smack the slightly larger things until you you get to the point where you can smack anything and then you leave the game it's an interesting you know it's an interesting thing what is it that we want from the games is it the, is it the, the end result is it a challenge is it a sense of accomplishment that we want to pull from this I think that's a big deal for me, it's a sense of accomplishment. When you, when you, when you can get, oh, there we go, all right. I should have stayed for another 40 seconds, I would have gotten more than 10,000. But I was talking and going along, I wasn't even looking at the clock. You, I could have gotten 13,000 if I waited 13 seconds. So, that's all right, though. We'll live with that. Move on to the next thing. So, this is one of those things where I, it's kind of a buyer beware. Um, and kind of just a, let's consider why we do what we do. I mean, you know. Recognize when you're being mind controlled. When you're, perhaps have some level of addiction going on because you want to accomplish certain things. And then ask yourself, why are you playing the game? You know, and maybe the answer should be. Um, is this making you happy? Right now, this is still, getting these garages will still make me happy, so it's still a worthwhile thing. But I mean, I don't know, is, is doing it is not making me happy. Should I be spending more time doing things that actually make me happy? And that's an interesting thing, folks. You have to, I think you should all look at your, look into yourselves there. Say, well, gee, Black Knight, you're, you're saying you recognize that you should be doing something else, and yet you pick track after track. You're continuing. Somebody stop me! It's kind of like that. It's an interesting thing. You uh, comment in the description. Do you guys see this in uh, your own play? Do you see yourselves cranking out XP upon XP or dollar upon dollar trying to achieve something just so that you can finally stop playing. On that note, this is the Black Knight. Yeah, I don't really have a conclusion here. I don't know. 
Does this constitute a video game addiction if you keep going on? Or is it just a matter of trying to keep whatever part of your brain likes to accomplish stuff and get things? Or is it just a matter of this is how the game is supposed to be played? You're supposed to make it, you know, find ways to make it money to buy things and you can have things and you have more capability. Is it a normal way that the game is supposed to progress? This is, you know, if, if I've found a way to make money that isn't fun, I'd be doing the game different. Playing different things. Playing races for, for longer, even though it's less money and more fun. I don't know. I do know this, though. This is going to be the last race for today, because i got other stuff to do. <laughs> no, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night, everybody. Or at least it'll be the last race for this session. Might come back on later. Should be. Maybe we'll do one. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Just don't judge me.